This tutorial introduces you to the concept of designing responsive web applications using Volt MX Iris. Responsive web is a way to design web applications to make them look good on a variety of devices or on different screen sizes. With version V8 Service Pack 2 of Volt MX App Platform, Volt MX Iris now supports a visual canvas for designing responsive web applications interactively with breakpoints and a column grid. Using this visual canvas you can tailor almost any layout or content attribute per breakpoint along with the real-time responsive feedback within the visual canvas. Today we will learn about an overview of how Volt MX supports a responsive web. Responsive web using the visual canvas. Defining the breakpoints. And design the layout. API is for runtime manipulation. Volt MX Iris provides a lot of flexibility to design applications with any layout using its flex layout capabilities. To enable designers and developers create responsive web applications with a simplified and easy visual tooling, Volt MX Iris introduced the support for a visual canvas to create responsive web applications. Configuring Responsive Web Application the first thing you would notice related to Responsive Web with the V8 Service Pack to release of Volt MX Iris is the new channel Responsive Web. This is apart from the usual channels like mobile tablet desktop and watch. Responsive Web is the default channel for web application development starting this release. In case you want to fall back to the legacy non-responsive development channel, there is an option within settings under the desktop web to switch back. All existed projects migrating from an earlier version are defaulted to the non-responsive channel. To migrate to the responsive web design developers may use the same option under settings to switch to the responsive web channel. Define breakpoints. Now let us look at an example. Here in this sample I have used two forms here you may have noticed three small red arrows as part of the ruler at the top of the desktop of the canvas. These arrows represent the breakpoints that I have configured for these forms by selecting the breakpoint or the dimensions between the breakpoints, I can switch between the different breakpoints. The big points can be set as part of the form layout properties. Here you may add new breakpoints or edit and delete the existing breakpoints. On my visual canvas first I'm off to the tablet breakpoint which set at 1024 dp. If you notice not only the width of the canvas changes, but the background of the form has changed as well. As a default any widgets placed within the responsive web canvas and using the percentage based layout properties are responsive to the width of the web browser. Across the breakpoints, I can change the layout of the widget as well as change some of their data properties like the image source, mobile text, and similar by simply talking the switch at the top of the ruler. Next I will move to the mobile breakpoint which is set at 640 dp. Here you may notice apart from the main layout the header footer and the content has changed. Moving between breakpoints is extremely simple using the ruler at the top. Now let us move to the accounts landing screen the layout of this form is sophisticated and includes the usage of many widgets. The form is designed using a column based layout as in I will get through the different breakpoints, notice how the number of columns in my design change, the ice breakpoint or the desktop layout is designed using a three column layout, the tablet breakpoint uses a two column layout, and finally the mobile breakpoint is just a single column layout. Well these are some of the standard design concepts, for a responsive web application Volt MX Iris simplifies it through its flex layout mechanism and the component architecture. Now let us run the application using the Volt MX Iris Local Preview. I've loaded the web application on a browser with a desktop width, and I will also load the same application on a browser with a mobile web or in other words, using the width which respects the mobile breakpoint. As you may notice the UI design between the desktop version and the mobile version varies based on the width of the browser where the application is running. Now I will navigate to the next screen, here on my account's landing screen. Let me manipulate the width of the browser window to demonstrate. 
The changes in the layout is, I change the way notice how the layout and the data change based on the breakpoints. Since I have designed my application using a percentage-based layout, all the widgets in the form abide by the width of the form and react based from the changes made to the browser way. When the width of the web browser hits a specific breakpoint set within my application, you may observe more visible changes on the layout and the content within the web application. API for customization. Apart from the design capabilities, Iris also provides extensive APIs to huge customize the layout at runtime. These APIs can be used to query the current browser width, configure the breakpoint, and change the layout. This was a short overview of the responsive web design capabilities and the responsive web output that is supported through Volt MX Iris. Please refer to Volt MX documentation for more information.